Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a very effective bait to use when fishing for carp and catfish. Now, the first thing you'll need is a big bowl or a bucket to mix all the ingredients in, a large spoon to stir it all with, a can opener, and another small bowl or small container. Next you'll need a big can of whole kernel sweet corn. It doesn't matter what brand, it just has to be whole kernel sweet corn. You'll also need a big can of white hominy and a 6 ounce box of strawberry jello mix or two three ounce boxes if you can only find the small packages. And then the last ingredient you'll need is panko breadcrumbs. I always pick up the Kiko Man Japanese style panko breadcrumbs, but you can grab whatever is available or whatever you prefer to use. I find that two eight ounce boxes of panko breadcrumbs is enough to get the job done. Now that we have everything set up, open the can of sweet corn and white hominy. Pour just the juices out from both cans into a separate container. Once all the juice has been removed from both cans, you can dump the sweet corn and white hominy into your mixing bowl. Next, we add the strawberry jello mix into the mixing bowl. Now, add the panko breadcrumbs on top. Mix all the dry ingredients together well. Now pour the juice from the cans of sweet corn and white hominy, which we saved in a separate container, into the mixing bowl. Stir everything together for about 5 minutes or until you're satisfied with the consistency. You should be able to make a ball of it in your hands and it should hold together without falling apart instantly. Last thing to do is cover the top of the container and then stick it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight, that way it'll be ready to go the next morning. Alright, got our bait ready, we're out at the lake. Got the method feeder and hair rig already tied on. Now the method feeder is what we'll pack the bait onto. And then the hair rig, we're going to just put a few kernels of sweet corn on the hook itself. There's a proper way of stringing the corn onto the hair rig with a special tool kit, but I get lazy. And I find that it makes very little difference either way you do it. Last thing I do is push the hook into the ball of bait so it all stays together. I highly suggest the use of rod holders and bait alarms for convenience, especially when using multiple rods at once. Then all you have to do is cast your line out, place the rod in the holder, set the bait alarm, and then you can sit back and relax. <laughs> 